in the skies above Peach's castle. War. It's like the most insane entrance and beginning to any Mario adventure. I would call it a cold opening, but that did not look very cold at all. See, that's how you know that things are serious. You know, I don't think Bowser's that bad of a guy. <laughs> he just wants someone to love. He wants a mother for his many, many children. Alright, I haven't played this in years. And I remember that you can sonic speed like this. And I forgot that there were little frags. <laughs> frags! <laughs> I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same Bowser monster that gave you such a trouncing. And to make matters worth, the fiend is kidnapped by little sister. I hope to give chase to that Bowser monster in a ship of my own. Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack. I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. You know, it seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can't help those two. But my hat is gone. I can't explore without my hat. Man, how many times have you seen that clip of Mario throwing his hat? <laughs> that clip has been used so many times when just promoting the Switch, and I love it. It's iconic. Oh, also, for this playthrough, I wanted to do something interesting. I wanted to, uh, well, <laughs> not get dirty like this, but I guess this is a good time to show it off. I want to take a picture of my entire journey. I want to get a picture in every single kingdom, and I want to compile them together and make a beautiful scrapbook. All right, let's do this. The key point of the game. This is the part of the game that really captures my heart, get it? <laughs> no, that's pretty good. You captured a frog. The best text in the entire game. <laughs> I remember they showed off this for, for the first time and people were like, whoa, this is crazy. This looks like a perfect, oh my God, look at that. Now this is cinematic. Oh, I missed all of them. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna bonk a lot in this playthrough, I think. <laughs> the boss will be dead, a fella with a mustache coming along. Guess we gotta introduce ourselves with a wedding planners for the happy couple. They call us the Brutals. I hate the Brutals. <laughs> They're so random. Anyways. Bam, bam, boom. Shta boom. See that? Let's make this wire. Off we go. Super Mario Odyssey. How's that for a cold open? There should be an old airship somewhere around here. Let's see if we can't find it. He says that a lot. Like, see if we can't help them. See if we can't find it. Let's get going. I, I think if the Koopalings were in this game, I would like that more than the Brutals. Because the Brutals are just like, here we are. Rabbits. I don't know why it's rabbits. Isn't it random? Usually, the Mario games have a theme. This one doesn't really have a theme. It, its themes are within its, uh, the separate kingdoms. But the Brutals don't really have a theme, because they're just kind of like, yeah, we're here. And it's got a first power moon. We're almost there. Got a power moon. What a lucky break. This will come in handy to power the airship. Have you seen anything like it? Um, a few times, really. Back when I was doing public service for a tropical island, and when I was in space, there it is, this is what we're looking for. Mario makes me happy. Oh yeah, also, we get, we get to do some crazy movement in this game, like this. Look at the size of that thing. Oh yeah, Cappy Dinosaur. It's Monster Hunter now. Can I jump off the edge? <laughs> well. You've learned in school that the dinosaurs went extinct, and now you know how. Alright, boss time. Sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain chompigans. Kill! So this this fight is very complex. Oh, here we go. Alright, I've got a rock. 
You're gonna throw your dog at me, and uh, I'm gonna throw a rock at you. <laughs> it, it hit me, and I got damaged. Great. I got a multi -mute. <coughs> I just, <laughs> I just drank water through my lungs. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> that water will find its way uh, around my body somehow. The Odyssey's restored. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We have enough fuel to reach the Sand Kingdom. Let's go save those two. Why don't you take the helm? Just select the Sand Kingdom and press A and we'll be off. I agree with that. Let's go. My first time on this game? No, I've played I played this game a long time ago. Uh, and I love it. Like back when it first came out. I actually did videos on it before, but this is the reimagining. And the rebirth! Do I remember it? I do. I get... Uh, well, there's some things I don't remember, but, yeah, you know, it, it's great. This is a fantastic game. That's all I need to remember. Tank Kingdom. Toast So, I've seen, like, so many speedruns of this game. Not really recently, but I, I, I know a lot of, uh, of, like, little trick moons, and I'm not going to be able to do them. Because I'm terrible <laughs> right now. And also, there's this here. I might as well grab that. Well, <laughs> how many bonks has it been? We should have a bonk counter. No, I'm not going to have a bonk counter. I actually didn't need to do that. This so much longer <laughs> than it already will be. Can I just skip this, actually? Oh, yes. I know what my goal for this is going to be. It's going to be try to do as many shortcuts as possible. I, I already know one that I want to try. Oh, I remember this room. This is the room that you can just cheat if you really wanted to. <laughs> because you can... You can very easily do this. <laughs> Bad example? Uh, I think over this way there's something. There is. <laughs> See? And then they reward you. For your behavior. Your cheaty, cheaty behavior. They said, well, you earned it. <laughs> and we can get this guy. Check this out. Wait, I did that wrong. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Well, it's gone. Okay, well, to the pyramid. <laughs> Let's go. I don't need to get every moon. It's fine. Ow. Darn it, I'm not very good at this. Younger me was a lot better at video games. And now I'm an old man. Whoa, 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 That was called Goomba Clutch. I'm gonna write books about that maneuver. Uncapture and ground pound them. I'm not insane. Why would I ever do that? Are you happy now? Hope you guys remember arms. No one in the speedrun community remembers how to fight this guy because they don't have to fight this guy. So I'll be really good at this. See, look at him. He's crying. Oops. Well, he might beat me. There we go. I like how unfazed Mario is by all of this. Like, he's been through so much that he's just like, This is fine. Good Chris Pratt impression. It's a me. Wait, no. It's a me. A Mario. Okay, so you're the amiibo guy. The guy with the amiibo symbol on him. You can now play as Luigi. Kind of. If I could play Super Luigi Odyssey, this would be Super Luigi Odyssey, but this is the closest we're gonna get. This is more like it. Let's get going. Alright, let's do this. See, we're perfect- I, I love the water in this game, by the way. One of the things I always say when I play a video game is, how does the water look? And the water in this game looks gorgeous. So it gets a 14 out of 7 for me. The water in this game gets a 14 out of 7, which means the game is a 10 out of 10. I love these guys. I hope... Th that sounded like it was he was in real pain. <laughs> so I just bonk cancelled. <laughs> that was really bad. Don't talk about that one. Zip! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's kind of mean. I'm stuck. It's like, 
He's massive! Look at how huge he is! The, the ultimate taunt. <laughs> Pictures taken right before disaster. Why am I zooming in there? I'm trying to get the, the size different. The, eh, whatever. So, yeah, the... Mar... <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. Mario... Mario... His height is very small. And Ringo's height is very tall. That is all. Oh yeah, and then also I was gonna do this. There's stairs there now, so it doesn't have the same effect, but um... <laughs> very simple. Time for like one of the best songs in the game. It's fantastic. And it sounds a lot like uh, Fallen Kingdom. Wait, no. Sorry. <laughs> well, it does. It sounds a lot like Viva La Vida by Coldplay. Not Fallen Kingdom, although Fallen Kingdom is... Yeah, you know what I mean. See, it's... it's uh, this part especially. And this is like the best capture in the game. I love these guys. Yes, look at them. I can't remember what... I, called, I think they're called Sherbs. They're just called Sherbs. I, I love Sherb. Sherb is my favorite new enemy. Just look at him. Ah, uh, I just love Sherb. I want Sherb to come back, but I don't, I don't think Sherb will ever come back. Is Sherb his name? I don't even think Sherb is his name. <laughs> Here's a little speedrun shortcut for you. All the speedrunners do it. Actually. Legitimate speedrun. If you have time, look up the Siva Gunner rip of Wooded Kingdom. And um, it fits very well. Like, too well. Wait, why is Mario cold? Is he cold because he's wearing swimming gear? I guess he is. Oh wait, this is gonna be a good picture. <laughs> I just realized that the uh, the other guys are not called Sherbs. They're called Uproots. They're not Sherbs. I do not know where I got the the name Sherb from. Unless these guys are Sherbs. And they might be! The tanks might be Sherb. It is Sherm. Oh, Sherm, not Sherb. Hey! And this guy is Uproot, not Sherb. But I will call him Sherb. Do not mess with me, biped. Don't call me that. How dare you? You're not wrong. And th this is such a strange boss concept. A lot of weird bosses in this one. Oh. <laughs> I like shaking the controller. It makes me feel like I'm doing something. You know, when you think about it, that boss is actually kind of scary. Like, that was a pretty scary boss. Did Bowser just have that? And he never released it? He was like, yeah, now's the time. My flower collection robot. <laughs> With lasers. <laughs> For some reason. Alright, Metro Kingdom. What is that? There he is! Fire the cannons! I have the Bowser- wait, listen to that. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> hey, you guys remember arms? Eh! Alright, so this is sick because you get to wear the hat. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, try to trick me! Get out of here. Oh, the Odyssey's all busted up! We need some power moves to fix it, so let's get looking. It's Klepto. I think this guy's name is Klepto. To wait for him to lower, and then BAM! Now let's get some moons. Okay. Now we can be Wiggler. Or a weird Wiggler. These things are strange. Alright. Let's get going. To New Frontiers. 
the Scourge on the Skyscraper. Hey, it's Pauline! And here's Pauline! Do you remember Pauline? Since this game, she has never left my mind! I mean, that's... <laughs> the, I mean, you know what I mean. That's... it's not... She's she's everywhere now, that's what I'm... Eh, whatever. Things have been another chaos since that brutish Bowser monster showed up. And he has the nerve to be advertising this wedding of his all over New Donk City. A bit tasteless, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of pretty. You know, fun fact about New York, uh, at like 11.55 at night, all of the billboards in Times Square, um, they become the same thing, and it looks awesome. Anyways, Let's see if I can make this. Wow, not even close. <laughs> Me headed into the city. Forget about it. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm ziplining here. What are you talking about? I don't know why they thought to do this. Like why they thought, hey, let's just make a. Ma well, I guess that makes sense. A massive city, but specifically New York City. I guess because it's the biggest city in the world. See, I don't- I'm, I'm not really thinking when I'm talking today. I'm just- I'm just kind of going with the flow. Here we- oh, look at this. Actually, give me one second. How- why is that guy up there? Oh, that thing's trying to suck up all the juice from our city. Why are you here? Mario's not gonna survive that- okay, well, wow. <laughs> I guess he must be used to jumping from high heights, so... He can teleport too. Is this the only Mario character that can teleport? Probably not, but like Bowser can make this stuff, but he never uses it himself. He could make a teleportation device and then easily beat me, but you know. There we go. Thanks for cooperating. Oh, my guy's gone. Okay, well, he would have loved that joke. We did it! A fresh start for the city. It's beautiful here. Okay, so how do you do the impossible jump? I think it's like here. This is gonna be the most impressive thing for me. If I can manage to do it. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I don't think this one's gonna happen. Oh, that one was close! Oh! Oh, yeah! The Trick Jump Master! <laughs> oh, it's me! Oh, yes, and our reward is a bicycle. Oh, wait, is there... Yes, this... Oh, I love this part! Boy, I tell you, this city. You're not from around here, are you? You're the first person to ever just sit down next to me. It's a lonely city. Thanks for reaching out. Take this for your trouble. That's a nice little moment. In the biggest cities, people can feel the loneliest. Isn't that ironic? Oh, this is the best! You can just capture sticks, and then do this and go, yeah! You can put in some like rock music and, and it fits perfectly. And then you just fling away. You really must join us for an upcoming festival. I'd love to show my gratitude to both you and the city with a surprise. Do you think you could find me four backup musicians so I could do a small music number? Something simple. Okay, I found one. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, listen to my drum beat. I'll be the drummer. Now we got a trumpeteer. <laughs> Man, you suck at that instrument. <laughs> Your music playing blows! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, yes! Jump rope! Wanna jump rope? Jump, man! Get it? I get it. This is great. Alright, let's do this. We're getting a hundred on this. First try! Oh! Oh, man! Did you see that? Oh, man! <laughs> Whoo! Put that on my gamer license! Anyways, we have enough um, moons, but I feel like we can't just leave yet. Whoa! <laughs> Mario just almost slammed into that wall! I don't know how to drive! I just pretend I do! Wait, yeah, he does. He has a license. Obviously, he has a license. But actually, no, I don't think you need a license to, to do Mario Kart, because... Baby Mario has a license, if, th if that's the case. Oh yeah, I heard about you, little man. You're on a musical mission for the mayor, is that right? Don't sweat it, say no more. For all that she's done for the city, I'm down. Nice. 
I thought that said racist on board. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Can't you do something cool here? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love video games. This is what they're made for. This is where I do all my training. Really? Hey, Captain Toad. Why are you here? <laughs> this is extremely dangerous. This is why I do all my training! This place is amazing! All the big buildings everywhere! I got curious to see what was inside one. Turns out there was a power moon in there. I stole it! There you go! The Sun family won't be eating tonight! Alright! See ya! I can't jump, by the way! I'm stuck! A traditional festival. This is the pinnacle of the game. Whoa! Actual lyrics in a Mario game, in a song, in a Mario game. Oh! Oh! The city's awesome! I mean, festival, I don't know. Alright, let's do this. I love the colors, just the atmosphere, everything, the music. Oh, I just went- uh, sorry, I'm a little nervous. You know, um, it- when I first saw this, and like, went to this area, uh, it took me an embarrassingly long time to realize that Donk was referring to Donkey Kong. And then I got to this part, and I was like, oh, bam, bam, wham, shta boom, Donkey Kong, the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> Thanks again, Mario. I'm dedicating this festival to you. We couldn't have done it without your help. Can I- wait, can I mess up the trumpeteer again? <laughs> I can't. What is going on with that trumpet player? What's he doing? <laughs> okay, so Christmas is coming soon. What do you guys want for Christmas? I actually don't really want anything for Christmas this year, uh, but it is coming very soon. I'm one of the people that uh, ce tries to celebrate Christmas as soon as possible. You only like Christmas Day the day it's Christmas. I love the lead up to Christmas. What's going on, guys? Merry Christmas. The lead up to Christmas is like my favorite. Like it's as soon as it starts to snow, I think that's when I celebrate Christmas because yes, close. One racer won't come out of his waiting room. What's taking so long? I'll get him. Oh, race, I don't want to do the other races are too serious. I don't stand a chance. If someone else wanted to race, they'd be welcome to take my place. I do. When I first played this game, I didn't know that this is actually what you had to do. Like, I was just so kind that I was like, I'm not going to capture this guy. I'm going to... Like, he doesn't want to race, so I'm, I'm not going to make him race. So I just left him. And then I was stuck on this level for a little bit. <laughs> the Bound Bold Grand Prix. Snow Line Circuit Class A. I'm bound to win this one. I can also shake the controller to bound. What's bound? Am I not getting any of these bounds? I don't think I am. Anyways, we win. <laughs> Seaside Kingdom, Bubble Lane, my favorite area. One of my favorite things about this area is since the sea is carbonated, every time you jump into the water, your controller fizzes like it's carbonated. And you guys can't feel it because you're not playing the game, but I can feel it and I tell you it feels nice. I love this area. Just look how colorful it is. How blue the water is. There's gushins, which are the coolest things ever. You capture them, and then you shoot up into the- like, it's so cool. Alright, I want- I kinda wanna take out this guy first. The squid. Oh, to all you want, I'll never surrender the delicious sparkle water! I've got a firehead. And that guy's pretty hard-headed. Man, how many terrible puns can I make in this stream alone? A boom! Okay, let's go. Boss time. A really cool boss. We just gotta chase him down, put him in a corner, and then do this. Just like that. Oh, he's stuck. Explode. Well, okay, I was gonna say explodes into ink, but he actually just completely exploded. You're, you're kind of bad for him, you know? And it's also sunset. Oh my goodness, what a pretty sunset. And so nice that the fountains and the sparkle water are back. And there's a puppy here too. Wait, come back puppy. This is the cutest puppy ever. It's a little Shiba, I think. 
And then we get the music and the beautiful sunset and the rainbow. And he found something for me. Thank you! Oh. <laughs> he can play catch with him! And he just did a kickflip. Me and my little puppy friend. What should we name him? Let's name him Finnegan. Season's greetings from Dog Butthole. Okay, we have enough power moons, but I don't want to leave. I love this place so much. <gasps> he can be a pirate. Yes! Do what I want, cause I pirate is free! You are a pirate! Here, do you wanna see my- or do you wanna hear my Mr. Krabs impression? Hey, you mighty boy! Oh, you boy, oh, Spongebob! That's my Spongebob impression. I mean, <laughs> that's my Spongebob impression, everyone. You guys wanna hear my Mr. Krabs? I, uh... Anyways, uh, are you- are you afraid of me because of how cool I look? Hey, you're like- you look like that Luffy guy from the Pirates! Care to dance? Oh, yes. Now this is what I call vacation. What about, like, business? Oh, you, you keep the eye patch. Oh, that's awesome. Like, cool, like, business pirate. My stocks have been going through the roof lately. Is there, like, a business pirate joke that I can think of before I leave? I have a monopo C. <laughs> I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Egads! My clothes are ruined! But what if I was to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking? <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. <clears throat> I had popcorn last night. No! Egads! My Goombas are ruined! Hello. Play some slots, the Toast Arena game that's winning worldwide fame. It's 10 coins to play. A moon can be won. Come on. Am I stupid? I, I am. I am, right? I am stupid. What? what, what really? There. There we go. Like fourth, fifth, ninth times a try. Third time. First, first times. First tries. Wait, what? 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 How? I'm confused. First times a... I can't even remember the original. First times a... It's not first times a try. First... That was satisfying. First times a charm! There we go. First first times a try. <laughs> Get to the top of the mountain? Nah, I wanna cheese first. I wanna cheese this level. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that guy was practicing! That's what I get. That's what I get for trying to kill him and escape. Oh, big pot on the volcano! Dive it! Yes! We get to capture meat! Path to the meat plateau. <laughs> I love that that is in a Mario game. Oh, yes, the path to the meat plateau. My final journey. Can you imagine if, like, at the end of... Like, the, the whole point of the Lord of the Rings was, would be to get the, <laughs> the one ring to the meat plateau and throw it into the soup? We have to throw it... <laughs> into the meat plateau. You have my bow and my pan. I'm actually gonna change my status on Discord to tra traversing the meat plateau. <laughs> All right, we've made it to the meat plateau. Nice. And now we get to capture meat. And now we get to twitch. Oh, sick. It's, it's meat. He actually did it. We must destroy the meat. I can't carry it for you, but I will carry you! <laughs> Did you see that timing? That was actually really cool. <laughs> I remember this fight always being really difficult for me. And, it, and you'll probably see it this time. And there we go. Okay. Wasn't that too bad. Wasn't that... That wasn't too bad. I said that out of order. Back to our investigation, up here we have, huh? The Bowser in Bowser's kingdom is that Bowser. No, it's actually Doug. Oh, there he is, it's Doug Bowser! I can see him! Hey, what's going on? I've been playing Dark Souls, Mario. I'm a weeb now, Mario. This is unbelievably Dark Souls, though, right? Like, like I'm walking towards the Lord of Cinder right now. Ashen One. 
kill. Yes, yeah, so there's like an actual dragon in this game. I don't know what they were thinking, but I'm so glad that they were thinking what they were thinking. Ow! Uh oh. If I die to this, I'm gonna be pretty sad. It actually is a Dark Souls level now. Bam! Oh my god, look at him! He's so dirty! He's like. It's been a long day! Welcome to Bowser's Kingdom! This is it, the showdown! The final area in the game. Here we go. Bam! Yo! <laughs> this is actually a really interesting kingdom because instead of it being more open world like the other ones are, this one's a lot more linear. Which I think is pretty cool. Because Mario games are usually linear. This is like the only one that's really not. Not ow! <laughs> nice one. It wasn't me who hit the bomb! It was the bomb who hit me! That's how you can get out of any situations where it's like, oh, well, you're bad at the game. It's just, no, you're not bad at the game. Like, well, wh why did you why did you hit the bomb? No, the bomb hit me. I didn't hit the bomb. The bomb hit me. The bomb is it, the bomb is good. It's not that I'm bad. It's just the bomb is good. Um, but I got hit three times in the dragon fight. No, the dragon hit me three times. I didn't hit the dragon. The dragon hit me. Well, that actually doesn't really work. Oh, I love this. Oh, I remember. I completely forgot about this. Yes! This is so cool! Alright, so should I- guys, should I go back and buy the clown outfit? Just- just because? Okay, I think I should buy the clown outfit. I hope you're all happy. I'm ready for battle! Can you imagine if a clown was like, it's time to honor my family? Okay. Die! Oh my wobble. Shinderu! Okay. I just- I, I lay a flower on him. But it's like a squirty flower, so it just goes. <laughs> I'm here to fight. We're off to our wedding ceremony on the moon. All right, all I, all I can imagine is every step he takes is just. All right, time for a mecha battle. Except I don't need a mech. You all should have stayed dead. Do I look like I'm in a joking mood? Oh! I, wait, did I miss? God, really? <laughs> I'm so terrible at this. Actually, I just wanna... <laughs> this is for my family! It's over. And that's how you know they're gone. The way you can tell if a Mario enemy has been defeated for real is if they explode into colorful fireworks. Um, I don't really want to wear my clown costume to the final battle. I'm, I'm just going classic Luigi for this. You know, this kingdom really is beautiful. Alright, look, we're ready for a wedding. I'm going to have to change back into my brother's clothing on the moon. <laughs> been a while since I've been to space. I wonder if it's any different. Something I love about the Moon Kingdom is one, the low gravity. Another thing is um, the fact that the coins here are star bits. Here we are, she's back. And she, is not forget she did not forget that fateful day. Do you remember me? You were ever so rude to me back in the Cascade Kingdom. In fact, you were quite rude to all my darling Brutals, which is why we're all here now. Now, I do believe it's lunchtime for my newly powered up chain jumper games. Okay, he, so he's he's powered up because he, um, just because he has three hats on. And as everyone knows, when you have more hats on, it means you're more powerful. Oh, now you have five hats on. So now you know Chain Chompikins is extremely powerful. You're out of here. The church bells toll. It's time to beat the game. It's Luigi time. Hey, Pauline. Am I on time? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just in time. Happy the hero. Okay, well, almost. 
Hi. The ring is supposed to go on the finger! Oh, you're crushing the wedding, Mario? That's tacky even for you. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters since you weren't invited. But I thought you said something about... Wow, he hates Luigi. Here's your happily ever after! <laughs> Thank you for the hat! I will use it against you. This is the power of Luigi. This is why you should go green. You know, people always say go green, and it's true. I completely agree. I, I completely agree. Alright, and a jump. And a jump. And another jump. <laughs> jump again. Get out of here. Hey, this looks like a good place for a picture. Family portrait. Undertale. What are we gonna do? You could you could do this with me. It's very therapeutic. Nah, we're doing this instead Oh, you know he thinks about peach a lot like Like most of his memories were just peach You either live long what is it you live long enough to become the villain or you 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 something <laughs> something happens you live long enough to become the, vi the villain who cares let's just go <laughs> smash that open and here we go oh yes <laughs> Oh, I almost just ran into this <laughs> If I die here, it's gonna be embarrassing. I almost just did. Wow. We just gotta break this open and we're done, Super Mario Odyssey. And... There we go. One more final capture. I gotta shake the controller! Ooh! <laughs> we're off. Ah... Uh... You either live long enough to become the villain or die. Oh yeah, that's what the other part of it is. I wasn't comfortable in my wedding outfit. What do you think? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> See, I I never understood this. So she's saying that Peach and Bowser are on the same level. She de she denies both of them, even though Mario just risked his life. And and now Mario and Bowser are just bros. Mm. And she steals his ship. I don't know. I I think Bowser dodged a bullet there, <laughs> but he didn't dodge that kick. Uh, and that's Super Mario Odyssey. I love this game. This is such a great game. Mario didn't even jump on on the ship. He jumped on Bowser and threw his hat. On us. <laughs> he just... He was like, I, I've had enough, really. <laughs> I, I don't care about leaving, I just... <laughs> I'll find a warp star. Wait, that's Kirby. <laughs> I'll find a sling star. Thank you so much for playing my game. Oh, is that the last time we're going to hear Charles Martinet? And there it is, the Mushroom Kingdom. It's Yoshi! Hey, Yoshi! <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Thanks for uh, thanks to Charles Martinet for voicing Mario for so long, and um, we're gonna miss you. But you did a really great job, and we're 100% just thankful to you. And we wish you the best.